Good evening, I'm Lindsay Wright. Environmental records show that a U.S. steel plant in northern Indiana spilled nearly 300 pounds of a potentially carcinogenic chemical into a waterway near Lake Michigan last month. The records show the level of the chemical, hexavalent chromium, was more than 580 times the daily maximum limit allowed under state permitting laws. The department says a multi-agency investigation is ongoing into the incident. Bloomington's mayor and city council president say the state legislature is preventing them from enacting local changes that will improve the city. A bill signed by Governor Eric Holcomb blocks Bloomington's proposal to expand through annexing nearly 10,000 acres. Please be aware of this political overreach that slowly but surely erodes home rule. And what keeps me up at night, not our city boundaries, but what state government might do next? The city is still weighing whether to take legal action. The National Weather Service has posted flood warnings and flash flood warnings for most of the state lasting through today. Owen County Emergency Management is offering sandbags to residents to prevent property damage. The Owen Monroe County Line Road between Gosport and State Road 46 has been closed for five days already and could stay closed through Sunday. The White River is currently registering between 19 and a half and 20 feet high, but it's expected to rise. Now for a quick check of the forecast. Chances of showers tonight, a low of 41. Those shower chances continue to start off the weekend. Highs in the mid-50s on Saturday. Sun pops back out on Sunday and Monday. More news at WTIUNews.org.